Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Expedition. This is long awaited gun review from me. Brand new Staccato CS. Check this out. This is uh, one of the newest guns from Staccato 2011. This is what officers use or people use for their duty gun. So it's a 4.4 inch and it's a full size handle. So what's special about this Staccato CS is that it's much smaller gun platform, the slide, the grip, it's thinner. It has a reliability and the round count that 2011 has. Usually I carry this Staccato P. This carries about 20, 21 rounds. It's a 4.4 inch barrel that comes with Trigicon RMR type two. I've had this about, about a year. Very nice. And battery still works. That's the red dot. And it's pretty popular nowadays. We're talking about this gun today. It's a Staccato CS. This is a pure Staccato, just smaller. This is the newest member of their uh, pistol family. So they have a C2, CS, Staccato P, XL, and XC. This is one of the smaller staccato that they have, so you can conceal carry this. If you are using 2011 platform as a duty gun or your primary gun, it's a very similar or same setup as the duty gun, so you're familiar with using this system. This is like little, little sibling to the big staccato family. Perfect for concealed carry. The grip is smaller and shorter and there's no mag wheel. It's very flat. It looks like it's coming out, but it is not. It's, it's a flat design. It's thinner too. So again, this gun is not loaded. Also, the Staccato CS debuts a new grip that's narrower than other Staccatos along with a new grip texture and a dedicated magazine. That's what's special about this gun. So let's get close. That is the new grip from Staccato for Staccato CS. Very nice. Thinner. It's not gonna get tugged on your shirt or belt. It's just flat design, thin, easy to carry, lighter. The difference I noticed is on a barrel, it has that kind of a design. So I'm sure that has some meaning to it. I don't know what it is, but looks cool. Looks like same design pattern as this. You can choose to put an optic on your concealed carry or not. So they give you a regular optic ready plate with a rear sight attached, or you can put a small Trichcon RMR CC. This is a smaller version than just regular Trigicon RMR. So this uh, red dot is slightly smaller as you can see. A little bit uh, shorter too. Look at that. When you grip the gun, there's a lot of checkering on this gun. Here. 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 That's nice. And here, thumb on top of the safety, just like this. So when you lower it, it has a nice grip and it's not slippery at all. You can order the curved trigger or you can order the flat trigger. This is aluminum flat trigger. Where curved design is, I mean, even though this is a special trigger because it's so far back in, that's a curved trigger. And this is the flat trigger. So that's the difference. People who decide to buy this gun, even though it's more expensive than Glocks or other, other platform, is because they're familiar with the Staccato format and this is comfortable for them. So this is good for concealed carry and home defense. You're always confident because you're carrying one of the best concealable gun out there. The in waistband holster from QVO. And you know, you can just make, you know, get it from other other places. Fits perfectly, easy. So, you know, you have to tell them that you, you have a red dot, the exact type of the flashlight that you have mounted and the exact spec of your gun, and they'll make it for you. And it fits very nice. Like most of the Staccato guns, this is nine millimeter. There you go. 
The frame is 7075 billet precision machined aluminum and barrel from here to here is 3.5 inch bow barrel. It's flat. Again, this is empty, but it's indented. So it doesn't get tugged onto clothing or anything. Perfect for concealed carry. So this recoil system right here, this is all new patent pending Dawson Precision 3.5 inch toolless recoil system. comes with the optic ready but you can choose to put uh, Trigicon RMR CC and this is a smaller version or other makers like Holosun, Aimpoint, EOTech, whatever you want and trigger right here again it's empty. trigger is 4 to 4.5 pound aluminum uh, flat trigger very crisp gun doesn't move at all wow you know, when you shoot a Glock or MMP, there's a slight vibration after you shoot. This has zero. Wow. With this 1.2 inch, height is up to here. It's 5.6 inch. With that safeties, it's here to here. It's 1.45 inches. And it's 22.7 ounce without optic and empty, empty gun, no mag. So it's fairly light. And it comes with three 16 round magazines. And what I want to show you is you cannot use these full size staccato magazines. It's not going to fit. See, it doesn't even go in because they made a special magazine, which is a thinner, which fits 16. That's amazing. Nine millimeter rounds you can see the difference it's just much thinner and much smaller but carries a lot 16 round and a small gun like that and it comes with a grip design right here you pull it out you have a grip right there just a beautiful gun let me show you again the flashlight is tlr7 sub which in my opinion has better design than TLR 7A. 7A kind of looks like a fat fish, but sub looks very slim, you know, compact. So there's the difference. It's a side by side comparison. For my full duty, I rather have a TLR 7 sub. I don't know why Staccato only has one groove. Seven sub won't fit on this gun. I made a video before, but sadly I cannot put that. So hopefully you guys like this video please subscribe like the video and if you want to see more content of the guns that i have or or hey or uh, anything you want to see let me know on the comments and i'll try to film that for you thank you for viewing my video and see you on the next one